It is an innovative Dutch online bank launched by René Freiters as a startup supported by Egon. Knap was founded in 2012 because we believe that our customers will become more and more responsible for their own financial position. But the expected traction from the market did not take place in the first one and a half years since going live. From the beginning, Knap was a great concept with a great product. However, sales were very slow. That meant that at the end of 2013, we needed a complete commercial relaunch. And as an effect, we've seen exponential growth and we've met all our targets in 2014. To realize this relaunch, Knapp transformed in 2014 to an organization driven by the power of data and analytics. As a result, the number of customers multiplied by 10 within only one year, and we can even speak of an exponential acceleration, where the number of customers is a function of e to the power of the number of the week. Where the net growth of fee-paying customers was less than 50 per week at the end of 2013, this number increased to over 900 per week at the end of 2014. To create success with data and analytics, we took a four-step approach. In the first step, we build a longitudinal view of a customer. This is an important step for us, because with the longitudinal view, we can not only see the situation of a customer at this moment, but we can also see his past. Since the introduction of the longitudinal view, it was possible to deepen the weekly net grow into relevant customer flows. In that way, we could understand developments in the net grow. An additional benefit of the longitudinal view is that we can identify each individual customer in a customer flow. In this way, we could monitor what kind of customers joined Knapp or even left Knapp. We could, for example, explain why a specific month had a notable low net growth. Not because the inflow was low, but because the outflow was extremely high. Due to this insight, we knew we had to focus on reducing the outflow of customers instead of focusing on the inflow. To follow the development of the customer flows, we introduced the weekly Knapp scoreboard. This made it possible to react upon developments in the customer base and monitor the performance with regard to the target. To create commercial success, a scoreboard is essential. Not only to assess which commercial incentives are working and which are not, but before all, to create this focus so that everybody is working in the same direction. In the second step, we used the longitudinal view of the customer base to identify levers for growth. Furthermore, we identified for each lever specific opportunities. With cohort analysis, we could also identify the timing of the outflow of customers. It turned out that an outflow of 20% coincided with communication about the end of the free trial period. Modifications in this communication resulted in a decrease of the outflow to only 5% after this communication. In the second step, we saw that for one lever acquisition, we needed more information. So in the third step, we started a quantitative research. In the quantitative research, we identified reasons for customers to join Knapp. The outcome of the market research gave us guidance in what propositions we needed to use in our ATL campaign. In the last step, the fourth step, we took this research and the opportunities we found in step two to translate them to new marketing initiatives and a new marketing approach. An example of a marketing initiative based on data and analytics is the introduction of a welcome program to activate new Knapp customers. To determine which products Knapp should offer in this program, we analyzed which products led to the most loyal customers. Customers with balance and activity on their current account showed a significant lower outflow than customers without current balance or activity. Therefore, the use of the current account got a prominent place in the activation program. The welcome program resulted in a decrease of inactive customers from 30 to 10% of the new customers. A next step for Knapp is to further develop the in-house analytical competence. We help by building a data analytics environment and by training the analytical skills of the Knapp team. My company also trains the Knapp data analysts in the three-year Egon Analytical Academy program. My recommendation to other marketeers would be to really integrate data analytics into your daily business. Make sure that all the people in your department understand what data and analytics is and make sure that they understand how to use it. From a commercial perspective, data analytics means you run your company differently. Instead of doing everything by gut feel, where one person tells you what to do, it makes the company very focused by way of facts. So you have a fact-based marketing organization. 
Data analytics helps us on a daily basis to make the right decisions and focus on what to work on. If you really want to be customer centric and create a unique customer experience, you have to implement data analytics. I'm sure your customers will love it and you will have better sales results.